Find functional hilarity at the Biffa Emporium. Oh, Lord, we gonna open with a sissy light shimmy. Bobby shooting a music video so he can get signed to a label. Child, the people who get signed to a label never get paid. Put your shit out on your own. Oh, and Shay Evans of Flirt and Flutter Lash Loft appears. Bobby, yellow is not your color. And why would you put on this cheap ass blouse? Dress barn tees, honey. Dress barn. So they get to talking about the JoJo shit and they also think she looks like a bird. And she does give you beak tees. We gotta talk about the you, 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 you. We gotta talk about the unit. About the unit. <laughs> it's like Storm meets Masika, and then they shove this shit on Shay Head. Just a hot glued seam. Just a hot glued seam. Oh my god. Monique Hart is really trying to give us a look on the runway this week. Oh. And then it just looks like there's hair glued to the sock. What? Yeah, this is, it's just popping out. It's pulled back and pop out. Oh my God, this is a patchwork wig. Shit don't make a no sense. So Shay walks off before Trina comes up. No, nah, no, nah, whoop her ass, whoop her ass. So Trina and her plastic Wendy's unit are done with Trick. This tree face sissy is supposed to be your man, Trina. Your man, your boyfriend. Who buying this bullshit, girl? Who buying it? Bobby, you really want to be signed to your shitty ass cousin as unsupportive as she is? You're stupid. You're just stupid. Oh, God. We got one of the dead ones getting a tattoo on his face. Oh, he got shot in the face, so it's covering a scar. I thought the tattoo was just infected. You still look dead. I don't think they brought you back all the way. Prince, you don't believe he's been shot 17 times? Honey, look at him. Look at him. They must have been shooting you with a cap gun. Cause these is uh these are some weak ass scars. I look like you just scraped your knee as a child. Prince, what in the Coco Dorms hell do you have on? Oh, Prince is making music now. Songs by a sissy coming to a store near you. Oh, Barkala's back. Veronica Vega. I'ma call her Barkala. Barkala. Mona. Mona, you sorry piece of shit. Now, if you had told us he had spent 500,000 on the heifer. I would have bought it. I would have bought it. Studio time, music videos, it adds up. $1.97 million and you still ain't got a return. If you throwing out money like that, then child sponsor Pop Rose, we gonna make you some damn money. I, I, no. No, I, I don't, but I don't believe it. Child, quiet as a skip, you would have stopped throwing money after 100,000. Okay, he's telling her he sold his house and she crying. I don't know why. Polo did not sell his house to make your dream come true. He sold his house to make his dream come true. Okay, now we got the owl-faced heifer. So JoJo got so much mess with everybody, she can only shoot scenes with her mama. So the mama want her to date Alvin, the football player, but she pining for Pleasure P's penis. Alvin's more attractive. But then again, you're more equally yoked with the pudgy, paunchy Pleasure P. Yeah, you ain't cute enough for Alvin, so I'ma say no to that. Oh, now Jesse Wu's doing comedy, and this is a lot better than that singing. Oh, this is interesting. They all fighting over the same manager. And apparently Amara and Trina's current. And Amara's booked and busy, so he ain't got time for trifling Trine and her chicken shit gigs. So now she going over her meeting with Amara and the Grey Goose baptism. Trina, Trina. Miami is not your city. It's not your town. I don't even think you own a condo there. You might hang out and run around in a rental, but that's all you run, around in a rental. You don't run shit. You don't get along with my sister. We don't have that. Girl, please. So she wants to meet up with Shay Evans. Shay Evans. Oh, God, we got this dead guy in Prince again. Nobody's interested in this. Oh, Lord, now young Hollywood here. For what? Ha! <laughs> Young Hollywood said, you do music now. Child, please. Prince, I do more music than you. I have more hits than you. Bottom line is, we're dealing with facts. 
girl. These non-rapping ass sissies. First sorry star and now pathetic prince. I mean, what, what is this? What, what, what is this? He's got the turntables going just wig, 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 wiggy whack. I'm embarrassed for you. Oh God, <laughs> you're a fucking moron. You're saying I want to leave nightlife, it's a grind, I don't think it's going to be there forever, so I want to go into a stable career of rap. Rap. You know, when you think education isn't for you, your life really is limited, as we see here. Okay, poppy shampoo, no. Poppy shuffle, yes. And you are just corny enough to have like some Latin version of the Cupid shuffle take off. I could actually see that shit. Young Hollywood, if you didn't have those tattoos, you'd still be a piece of shit. Oh Lord, now he talking about good hair. Honey, you ain't learned shit from last season. Young Hollywood like, I ain't touching that. Ah! This dead fool said, I barely wash my own hair. Oh. I mean, I guess when you're dead, you're gonna stink regardless. <laughs> ain't no point in washing up. Okay, are Gunplay and Kiera in some type of shelter situation? Because they only shooting scenes in a car like it's their apartment. I know them Uber rates be high. Then again, that's probably just a production vehicle. Okay, let's talk about the units. They're wonderful. She has her hair together. Why can't these girls do the same thing? The bob, wonderful. Look at how it frames the face. It's, it's a daring, very short bob giving you a 20s tee. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. The red unit, I like the color. I love the wet and wavy. Now that's how you do wet and wavy. If you go and do wet and wavy, do it like this. We've got good edges and root realness. Okay, y'all ain't homeless. Y'all just ain't letting them in your house. I respect it. I respect it. <laughs> oh my God. Gunplay did not just say I was tardy for the party. Oh, Candy Burr's is influence. So they riding around in their apartment. And she said, look, just because you got me a cat don't mean you're getting this pussy. So they gonna go to New York on his press tour and try to rekindle the romance. I'ma need her to get all the girls' wigs together, for real, for real. Where is she getting her, you? those are some good units. I love her wig play. And I like her makeup, not too much. Cause oh, sometimes they be doing too much. Less is more. She could do so much better than gunplay. So we got Shay showing up with Trina. I like the eye makeup. I really like the eye makeup. I just think we could have gotten a better lipstick. Like you just should have gone with the lavender lipstick. Trina, you look a hot fucking mess. Why is this wig? <laughs> Girl, you don't even know how to put your wig cap on and lay your hair down. This shit just sitting up on your head. And why is it so thick? It's like a book. Looks like a, maybe a 30 page pamphlet. I am so sick of this as a woman. What, y'all gonna put some penises on? Hold on, let me put my penis away. I'm gonna go to this meeting as a woman. Let me put on a fresh gina. <laughs> I mean, I think you a woman all the time, ain't you? You wake up as a woman. You go to bed, like, I don't think we need to point it out. Now, Trina got a point. Pleasure P had you out here looking like a fool. Although we know it was Mona. We know it was Mona. I mean, yeah, Trina, you don't pull that shit with no man because you can't seem to get one. Men leave you faster than Halle Berry. Oh, God, when they close up on this unit, it looks even worse. Why can I see, like, an inch of your scalp before the wig starts? Like, what, do you have, like, some type of baby hair netting? Is that netting? What the? Somebody got in my messages and said, you're going to have to talk about these units. And they were right. God, Shay, I hope trying to get in good with Trina and Trick Daddy's heifer keeps you on the show. I guess you're like, well, if I'm cool with the main star, I can get my points up. Because I don't even think Mona's giving her her card back. I think she's working on an honorarium right now, an honorarium. Oh, God, Veronica Vega whining about her lack of success. Fuck you. Bark, 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 bark. And if you speak dog, you know I really cussed her out. I had to fast forward through that shit. Oh, and now we got Pleasure P and Owl Face. Pleasure P, you just waiting for this heifer's pappy to die and you hoping to inherit. Oh, Pleasure. If you actually give a fuck about somebody, you don't want to make them feel how you felt. You just want to spend time with their ass. The petty proves the shit ain't real. Honey, what drugs have you been doing? You look like an old, run-down, washed-up, rode-hard-and-put-up-wet version of Tank. 
Pleasure P said for him to clear his schedule. What the fuck do you have to do other than film? Joy, you really think you can talk about Shay's Ronald McDonald wig with this dry ass shit on your head? I'd be worried about catching fire first. That's just me though, that's just me. And this is a good Monique Hart look, a really good one. I'm loving it. Ciao. Shay is so thirsty for an apology from this heifer and she ain't give you one. They sat and argued for a good 10 minutes. I'm sorry, I wanted to skirmish. Oh, and even Trina getting in her ass now, all right. She said, look, it was wrong for you to run and tell that, and it was. It was messy as fuck. You knew exactly what you were doing. Oh, Trina said, I don't roll like that, and I'm checking your ass. What doesn't concern you, you should not be interested in. All right, come through Trina with the knowledge. Maybe you should rap about minding your business. And we end the episode with Joy's dry wig and her I got checked face. So as my mugs say, tell a kin, tell a friend, tell that heifer you hate to head over to the Biffa Emporium for a cute collection of hoodies and mugs. Link below.